Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we have Gunfire, Gunfire, Gunslinger, Suicidal Outpost. And uh, it's going to be good stuff, it's going to be good stuff. My VR headset is supposed to come tomorrow. Uh, actually, let's, 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 let's go check. I really can't show you this because this is my email and there are a number of things. Mm hmm Oculus isn't refunding my Oculus thing. I have to ship it back to them, which is like just a pain in the butt, honestly. <sighs> okay, whatever. Um, track my package for the best buy order. November 16th. It was processed this morning it's on its way it's coming november 16th you know what if i have to get the best buy and the oculus one whichever one comes first is the one i keep <laughs> whichever one comes first i keep um so yeah the the estimated delivery date for the best buy one was november 12th up until like when i just checked it now um or i guess 5 a.m this morning when it was uh, over in richmond or something Whichever one comes first, I'm gonna keep. I don't care anymore. Like at this point in time, the ten bucks doesn't matter to me enough. It's been delayed by four days, dude. I mean, I knew I kind of expected it, you know. Anyway, so uh, what I was gonna talk about is um, it was supposed to come tomorrow, and there have been no shipping updates until now. So I'm like, yeah, kind of uh, don't expect it to come tomorrow. So, but it's uh, yep, confirmed delayed kind of a, a like major annoyance uh, oculus I, I messaged them to see if they can return it um, on the page has a button that says hey return this package by the uh, like you can return this by the 13th and I'm like cool so I click on it and then it takes me to like a, this link is broken page so I message support and they uh, the email I just read which we can go check it we can go check it let's check it Uh, as your order was successfully charged, we are not able to cancel at this point in the process as it is already being prepared by the warehouse to be shipped by a courier. However, if you are interested, you'll be able to send your prepaid shipping label after you receive the product to start our return for refund process. Your ticket will automatically close without any further response from you. I'll be closing this ticket. Please reach out back to us once it has been delivered. Yeah, like, I just, I'm pretty... All in all, it's like just a pretty... I'm gonna I'm gonna use some harsh language here. It's a pretty shitty situation, right? To, cause cause imagine if I were like not as financially stable, right? And I I, I cancel my order through the Oculus website, and they're like, all right, it's canceled. You know, why why were you canceling? And blah 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 blah. And then sorry you didn't like us. And blah 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 blah. You know the whole spiel after you cancel it. You know I go through all this effort to like cancel my damn product, and then it just comes out anyway. Like, what if I weren't financially, like, stable enough to, to be able to handle that kind of uh, a financial drain? And not only that, but, like, again, like I was I was mentioning in a recent episode, like, it, there's there's also, like, I, if it comes out on my statement, I'm going to have interest on it. The refund is only going to be $459. It's not going to cover the, the interest on the $459, you know? So I'm going to pay it off. <laughs> Uh, to make sure that uh, it's done so that my visa is zeroed and I don't have that but like you know if I wasn't in that situation then I also have to go and like ship it off to them through the stupid return package or whatever and it's like it's just <sighs> I, I just don't like it I don't like it you know I really don't like it so whichever one comes first I'm keeping and if that's the Oculus one, you know, if the Oculus one gets here first, or if the Best Buy one gets here first, like, at this point in time, I just don't care. In fact, I'm kind of hoping the Oculus Quest one gets here first, just so that, uh... It's gonna be a lot easier to just take it back to Best Buy and be like, just, like, take it, please. Rather than having to box it up and take it down to the post office and then send it back or whatever, like, just... And then, then, you know, you don't get your refund until they get it back, probably, either, right? Is the other thing until they, like, you know, you're not going to get your refund until 
after they get it and verify that everything's good, right? Like like when you when you send your package off for a refund, like do you, do you get your refund immediately? I've never done that before, but I'd imagine you're not getting your refund until they get the package and verify that uh, it's uh, you know what you actually purchased rather than not what you purchased, just an empty box or something, you know. But regardless, it's just it's just like. Such a, it's just a, yeah. I'm just, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed by it. <laughs> and then Best Buy is quoting me for the 12th and then uh, delaying it to the 16th. Who knows if it's going to be on the 16th, too. Um, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm in a bad mood, dude. I'm in a bad mood. Nobody, nobody along the whole process, Oculus or Best Buy, seems to, uh, be very interested in like I don't know being customer friendly it's just it's just the bad bad stuff all around honestly like what I'm gonna say at this point I I, I recommend it if you're not uh, too perturbed by uh, you know the whole Facebook stuff to buy an oculus quest you know just don't just don't just don't is, is kind of what I'm getting from all this you know I'm wasting, it's like, it, it's, I've definitely invested like an hour of my time just into finding how the hell you, like, actually contact Oculus support, um, and then actually contacting them and then having to wait and I'm like down $500 in my account now until I eventually get that refund, um, and it, it's, it's just... I'm just, I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm just mad. I'm so mad. You know, it could have been such a simple thing too. And the part, the part that gets me is, it's almost my fault for not having the money in the right accounts when I first made the purchase. You know, it's it's definitely Oculus's fault for continuing to charge me, um, even after I canceled the order. Like, I don't, I don't care if it was, like, a, you know, repeat until we get it kind of thing. Like, I canceled the order. That repeat should have been done. And if anything was going through, it should have, like, been declined by them. Um, and not gone through because I canceled the order. Um, I don't, I don't, like, I don't care about any excuses that I get from them. Like, and I've gotten some. I don't care. I, can I canceled the order through their website. It, sh it should have, A been clearer that uh, this order that I'm canceling is already canceled uh, it should have canceled my order when I canceled it rather than make a new order because because that's what's happened that's what's happened here so um, it was declined I canceled it that order it made a new order because it was declined and uh, charged me anyway but the order that I cancelled wasn't the same order as the new order that was made when it got cancelled so it made like I have I have two oculus orders one of them was declined which I cancelled and then one of them which was uh, made as a result of that cancellation or as a result of that uh, like de decline um, that that ended up going through when I cancelled the first one it should have cancelled the second one is, is like my opinion because they're the same, they're the same damn thing. Okay, it shouldn't have made the other order. I don't know how your stupid system works, but like, when I when I canceled the order, it should have, it it should have definitely canceled the second one, not made the second bloody order. Because like, I've I've showed my non-interest in having this at this point. The cancellation shouldn't have been available on it when it wasn't even a valid order to be canceled. Like it it just there's so many things wrong with it in my opinion from like a legal standpoint a, like a moral and ethical standpoint you know I'm sure it's legal to do what they're doing I think morally it's shouldn't be um, I, I don't think you should be able to make like I don't think you should be able to let your customers cancel an order and then have orders that came because of that cancellation not be cancelled you know like I cancelled the, the stupid thing and then they made another order anyway and then that one wasn't cancelled yet 
because I didn't know it existed yet until the money came out. You know, like I didn't have access to cancel that until, unless I went to PayPal and canceled it on the PayPal side. But I, I, I figured, like, canceling it on the Oculus side would have been enough, and in my opinion, it should have been enough. Um, but like, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's now it's wasting so much of my time. I'm down a bunch of money until it gets refunded, which isn't the worst thing in the world because I have a savings account and like it'll just go back into my savings account when uh, the time comes. But it's it's just like just a situation that could have been avoided if if their website were more clear and uh, didn't let you cancel orders that were already like not valid. Like I I could rant about it for hours. I could. I'm also salty that uh, my order has been delayed. So like I said, whichever one I get first, I'm keeping. I don't care. I don't care. Whichever I get first, that's the one that I'm keeping. And you know, you know, I might, I might look at Oculus's, if, if Oculus is the one who gets, I might look at both of their things, okay? Um, might look, might, but I might, I might look at Oculus, well, yeah, it would be Oculus's thing. I might look at Oculus's thing, like their refund policy. If Oculus, like the uh, official Oculus one is the one that comes first. You know, depending on the refund policy, I may keep that until the Best Buy one gets here. And then refund it, you know? Let me jump on you, please. Thank you. I didn't jump on you? You didn't get Goomba stomped? Bruh. Uh -oh. So if the Oculus one ends up getting here first, I know they have like a 30 day refund policy. I don't know if it's like used or whatever, or if it's just. Because a lot of refund policies are just so unbelievably stupid. They'll be like, uh... Well, if, if, as long as it hasn't been used, it's 30 days. And it's like, well, how the hell am I going to know if I want to refund it if I haven't used it? Um... But, uh... Yeah, I, I might take a look at it and see. Because I know that they have, like, a 30-day refund policy, so I don't know. And then if theirs gets here first, I'll probably end up just using theirs until my Best Buy one gets here. And then uh, send the Oculus one back. You know, if you guys are going to mess me up, then I'm, I'm damn well getting something out of it at least, okay? Um, so far, it seems like if we take a peek here, um, my Best Buy one should be coming October or uh, <laughs> November 16th. Whereas... Let's make sure that we're going to outpost here whereas if I take a peek at the oculus one which is like so stupid I get an email that's like your oculus order your oculus order your oculus order and I go to it and I use the link to access my order information and then uh, like two hours later whatever it's dead and if I try to go to it then it's uh, just like dies and sends me another one and I'm like just keep the stupid thing active okay I don't like just keep it active uh, anyway so Best Buy still November 16th um, the Oculus one is November 18th so it's likely that I will get the uh, the Best Buy one first anyway which would be nice but then also at the same time like is it nice the Best Buy one would be easier to ref like to return let me see if I can just return to sender right from like if I can just be like nah I'm not accepting it and like just send it back when uh, when they try to drop it off so if I can do that I'm just gonna do that I don't care I, I don't want your stupid product you guys messed up give me my money back like I just I just don't want it I mean I want it okay best case scenario here is I end up getting the money refunded and I keep the product you know like that's dream scenario yeah you know, I give it to my mother or sister or somebody right like that's the that's the you know the bees knees right there but uh, obviously not gonna happen you have to return the product if you want your money back generally speaking generally speaking anyway um, but uh, It's just, it's, it's just, it's just annoying. I don't, I, 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 I don't want it enough to pay for it, you know. 
I wanted it enough to accept it if they're going to hand it to me for free. <laughs> you know? Like, that's that's the extent of my desire for it. Which is not much. My family doesn't particularly... I mean, they're they're excited for it to a certain extent. My mother is. My sister's, you know, mostly indifferent, honestly. Um, Maybe later we could build but my mother's fairly excited to try it out, and... But, like, do they want their own? Nah. Do I need two of them? Nah. Not really. It's not really necessary, you know? Um, so, shit, it's just, it's just annoying. If I, if I can just be like, nah, return this. <laughs> like, just send it back. I do not need it. And then, uh, you know, just call up my visa and be like, yep, yeah, I uh, didn't approve this payment. They took it out anyway. I want my money back. And, um... Get my money back that way. That's that's the best situation. That's that's the easiest, in my opinion. Because otherwise, like the thing is, they're not even sending me the stupid return box now. Okay, I read the email to you. I don't know if you noticed when I was reading it. They're not even sending me the return box immediately. Okay, they want me to wait until it gets here, and then contact them back to send out the the, the you know. The RMA box or whatever, right? Um, and then send it back to them, right? So that's 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 like you know I have to wait until the 18th to get the stupid quest, and then tell them that I received it. I want to return it. Then wait for the stupid thing to get shipped out here, which is going to be like what another week, two weeks. Then ship it back. Like, go out of my way to, like, send it down to the post office or whatever to get rid of this stupid thing that I don't want. Then wait however long for it to get, you know, over to them and processed so I can get my refund back. Like, it's, it's just my money's not going to be there for, like, a very long time because, like, their stupid system just doesn't let me cancel an order. Their stupid button that says you can return this product before the 13th doesn't do that. Their customer support even says that it, like, it, it, just, it just, the whole, the whole experience, not good. Okay? Go, go buy artwork from Lucia Lee instead of buying an Oculus Quest 2. It's, it's a lot better of an experience. It's a lot better. It's just, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. Like, extremely annoying. Like, highly annoying. I'm out like 500 bucks for the next month or two. You know? Like. And again, I'm, I'm fine. 500 bucks isn't breaking my bank. But, like. Ima imagine if, if, if I were in a position where 500 bucks is like the difference between me eating this month or not eating this month. Now, in that position. I, I guess the argument could be made that, uh, you know, you probably wouldn't be buying. Uh, an Oculus Quest if you're in that situation, but then the argument could also be made that maybe you would maybe you've been saving up for the past like Year to get your your VR finally to, to finally be able to, to, to have like you know your one treat a year or whatever and then and then you end up getting charged twice for it Because they didn't let you cancel your order because they didn't even give you the order You know like when I looked at the stupid uh, my orders thing they were all canceled. I'm like cool That's what I need and then uh, do they just make another one? And uh, that one's not cancelled, so they just charge me still. Like it, ju it just something feels wrong about that. Okay, some something feels wrong there. You know, like I understand how I could have resolved this if I understood it better, but like some something seems a little bit just not right there to me. I, I can, yeah, I'm mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad. I am. I'll admit it. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm mad. You know? You would, wouldn't you be? If you're in my position, wouldn't you be? I'd be. I'd be mad if I were in my position. That's, you know, leading to me being presently mad. Can y'all be, like, better, please, and not worse? Um... So, yeah, that's that's been my experience today. 
a good and a bad one, honestly, you know, good from uh, getting my commissioned artwork in and it looks fantastic and I'm super, super pleased with it. And then bad because all the stuff with the Oculus Quest is just sucky. It's just, it just sucks. The whole experience is it, like, you know, once I get the stupid headset, I'm probably going to be having a blast with it and having fun and just having a good time, having a good time. But, like, everything leading up to it is just... Some of the some of the worst. This cat's back in the game. I don't know, like I hate seeing blood experiences I've had at buying a product. It's, it's just it's just it's just bad. You know, like like in my mind, when I cancel my order, it shouldn't go through. You shouldn't accept the payment for it after I've canceled the order. I shouldn't you know? It just it's just it's just it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I don't like it. Something seems really, really wrong about it. Really, really wrong about it. Gotta, gotta look on the brighter side of things, okay? What's the bright side of things? I mean, there isn't one. <laughs> what's, what's the bright side of... Uh, you've, you've bought two... Oh, that maybe that I like shouldn't recommend anybody buy an Oculus Quest. I mean, maybe, but like... I don't know. What's what's the bright side of things here? You know, where's where's the silver lining in this situation? You know, where, what's what's the what's the like? Well, at least you learn something. I don't really I don't really think there there's no moral or ethical kind of uh, lesson here to to be gleaned from. You know, it's just bad, undesirable. Why are there so many flesh pounds? And why are there so many clots grabbing me as soon as I try to attack the flesh pounds? And also stupid gore fiends and stuff. I'm just mad, man! Just wanna shoot things in the face. Watch them explode. Big old thing of blood. Yeah, that's right. Rather than turning off blood, I've decided to... It's just, the game is just so much better with blood on, okay? It adds, it adds so much to the ambiance. <laughs> I'm being facetious, but only slightly. That was like, uh, when I was playing the beta though, that was like the, the main thing for this game though, really. Was like, running around and just like seeing how brutal and gory it all was. Like, it's, it just, it, it looks so good. Turning that off, I mean, it's, you're not playing KF2 anymore now, you're playing, you know, KF Poo. It's just it's a tie it's entirely different experience. It's kinda like when you take poutine and you replace the cheese curds with um mozzarella. It's not it's not it's not the same. You know? Is is it still good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the same. Okay, poutine with mozzarella is not poutine. It's just cheese fries and gravy. Poutine is cheese curds, fries and gravy. Okay, very different experiences. Now I'm not I'm not opposed to some you know I've I've had you know quote unquote poutine with you know parmesan you know I've had uh, quote unquote poutine with um, no cheese at all right you want to go over here and then smack them um, I've had I've had poutine with um, mozzarella I've had poutine with with any kind of uh, kind of stuff you want to name under heaven it's all good. None of them are poutine except for the ones with cheese curds. They're just fries, cheese, and gravy, which is still tasty, but it's not poutine and KF2 without the blood isn't KF2. It's just zombies and explosions, which is still fun, but it's not KF2, dang it. Anyway, I'm mad. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.